eh, that you handed over the crown, the kingship to another family, when you have a son like me to succeed you. What's the meaning of that? Because it has been our tradition. I am not going to divert from it. To avoid the wrath of the gods. What are you talking about? Wrath of the gods, Makoku! Yamoku! I am not here to be lectured about culture and tradition, Papa. No, I'm not. What I've come here to tell you that whether you like it or not, no matter what it will take, I will be king. I will sit down here. And then I want stupid. Culture and tradition. Yamoku! I'm all I'm all sit down here. I must be king. I must sit, sit, sit on the throne. What stupid culture tradition? I must sit here. Where you go? Mama, I don't want to go. Why? My my father is going to be very mad at us. Obina, listen to me. Your father is nothing compared to our reason for living here. Okay? We are rich now. I have four million naira to take care of us. Four million naira? That's a lot of money. Where, where do you get that kind of money from? got the money from a man who knows how to take care of a woman better than your father. He sent your stepsister outside the country to study, forgetting that you are his son. But I don't have the money now, okay? And I want to treat you alike. Oh, wouldn't you want to study abroad? I would like to, Mama. Then that's my son. Now hold your hold your from. Carry your bag. Let's go. I hope you put my hair in my bag. Good morning, my princess. Where is my personal driver and royal car? Sorry, I don't understand, my princess. Oh. Are you always this dumb? Why is your IQ so low, for heaven's sake? Do you have a problem with grammar? No, my princess. My princess, the thing is that the princess personal driver dropped us and left. Oh, well, let me explain some. <laughs> I'll explain from here. Let me explain something to you because I'm sure you're from some poor and dirty neighboring village. When a princess wakes up in the morning, and she sees her two supposed maidens. She's expected to have her royal car, a personal driver, bodyguards, if possible, a convoy. 
And if she doesn't see any of this, she goes back to bed. And hopefully when she wakes up, everything will be fine. My princess, will you get your smelling stuff out of my house? Come back here. When you get to the palace, brush your mouth and take a shower because your stench is all over the fabric in this house. Hmm? Get out. Come, come, come back here. And what is the magic word? Thank you, my princess. Get out. Can you imagine this too? <laughs> Kiss it? <laughs> At 90? Nah, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. <laughs> Come in. Agawa, <sighs> what is the problem? Something out of the ordinary. Did somebody die? Not yet. Okay, so what's the problem? The maidens are back. They said the princess to be a request that she must come to this palace with a royal guard palace car with a palace official plate number. What? It's okay. It's all right. Okay, Akuba, arrange your car, okay? Three maidens, and uh, you can go, go with them as well, okay? It's okay. You can you can be with her. I wouldn't be needing you as often as I would, okay? So, um, I expect that you be there for her when she needs you. All right? Dad, how could you possibly be in support of this? Sure that. That's your mother's fiance we're talking about here. I'll do anything for her as if he weren't here. Uh, or tell me, do you also need a driver and uh, a guard? I'm good. I've enjoyed enough kind gesture ever since I was born. <laughs> you see, you see. Oh, Abayno. Look what you think. So you two don't join the club where they come here, come shank my mama. No be what you think. Come here, come clean Congo for where they sleep. Tell them now, nah, I share your Congo. You know share a Congo? I know share a Congo. Hmm. All this Congo you guys are sharing in my room. I know share a Congo. See Lord, I know share. Tell them now, nah, I won't make you make me. Come <laughs> shaka. No. I know, I know shaka. Ask them. You know shaka. I know shaka. But you can't ask them. I know shaka. <laughs> Thank you. Mama, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? You did, Grace. Eh? What is the worry for your head? Eh? Why will you just walk here and chase my customer away without even paying me my money? Obviously, I know your operation last night was successful. Where is the 20,000 naira owing me? I need my money. I am not in the best frame of mind. You don't allow me to unleash my anger on you. Look at this shameless son of a useless father. Instead of you to be grateful to me that I was taking care of you since you were born, you are here talking nonsense. Eh? Take care. Eh? Mama, see, let me tell you. <laughs> Mama, is it trying to sell me your only son for crack? Is it how to take care of a son? Eh, Mama? The four million naira that you are giving to use in taking care of me. That one don't don't audio. 
ringtone. I am not even hearing about it again. Mama I have been hearing about that money, but I have not gotten a combo. No benefit from that four million naira. <coughs> Useless woman. This <coughs> way, One of the says, I am going to love you to die with this sickness. Beautiful and adorable, the sunshine that brightens life. Angelitus Zaramando, <laughs> the most beautiful queen in this kingdom. That's what you will become, my daughter. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, my <laughs> dear. <sighs> so finally, you came with my request? Yes, my princess. This is Aguba, your personal garden driver. Good morning, my princess to be. What was that? Are you dumb? Correct yourself, young man. Sorry, my princess. Good. Much better. Good. And I hope you don't expect me to walk on this bare floor. Do I bend so you ride on my back? That's not what I mean, you moron. Where is my royal mat and flowers you're supposed to spread on the floor for me to walk on? Sorry? Flowers? Yes, flowers, dumb. Sorry, my princess, but you never made a request for that. <laughs> well, now you know. When next you come here without my royal mat and flowers, you will not like my actions. Papa. My princess. <laughs> Let me go meet my husband, the prince. Okay, my daughter. Take care, eh? <laughs> yes. Flaunt it because you have it. Thank you. It's a little Zaramandu. I know that. Do I need to kickstart your brains? Pick it up. Zaramanto, Zaramanto. Papa, please. Flaunt it, my daughter. You have it for it. <laughs> yes, that's the mark of a kid. <laughs> Oh my God, Madam, are you okay? My son, I'm okay. 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 Oh my, oh my garments. It was a mistake. You stepped 
for my garment by mistake. Is that how look? Is that how no! long it is to you? Does it look cheap? No, Does it look cheap? Does it look cheap? Can you do that to me? You step on my you step, you step on my garment. <laughs> Just two years that you left this village. Just two years. Look at you, you're just looking like someone that went to Bodo Yiba and came back. Looking like a flashy and keyboard. Hey! <laughs> I'm glad that you can see me with your two eyes. I, I am seeing with my two eyes. My eyes are open. I'm looking at you like I'm looking at you. Ah! Oh, baby. Look at you. See, if not for that munch of a mother eh, that I have. See, let me tell you, I would have gone with you to anywhere you're going to. But you see that woman? That woman will not allow anything good to come my way. I'm telling you. And you see this time? You will not leave this village without me. Anywhere you're going to, I'll go with you. If she like, let her go and hug transform. It's not my business. Let her hug a big transform and die. Good. <laughs> now you are sounding like the strong Obin I used to know. Hey, <laughs> Joshua. That's why I am not strong. I started doing strong, strong things, stronger things than you used to know me before. Stronger things. Obi. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Nice one, nice one. Nice one. <laughs> this canvas, eh? Hey, Josh, you will go with this and I will take it. <laughs> I go to club. Hey, yeah. Let's go inside. Let me give you the little thing that I have. Yeah. Any little thing, you don't manage. <laughs> oh, no, Obina. You must not step your legs into that kingdom. I am warning you for your own good. No, Mama. You're not warning me for my own good. You are warning me for your own selfish interests. Yes. So, Mama. You were the one that collected four million naira and squandered it. I did not share it with you. Now it's my turn to go and collect my own share of the money. Obina. Do not forget I carried you in my womb for nine months. You will hate yourself if you dare me. Mm. <laughs> watch me. <laughs> watch me. Ma, watch me. <laughs> nine months. Me, I've been eating for nine months. I've also eaten for nine months. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay now, man. Yeah. See what happens. You sing for me. Then I dance for you. Hey! 
Hey. You are blessed, my daughter. Yes, Papa. You are blessed. I'm very happy. Uh, Father? Aha, here he comes. <laughs> Elvis, it's so good to have you back. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Mom, how you doing? Hey, that's my wife. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> hmm. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Look at you, baby. As beautiful as always. I know. <laughs> you see, she, she's been in good hands. <laughs> Evidently, guys. Evidently. Welcome back, my love. Thank you, baby. So tell me, how um, has this town been treating you? Uh, not as bad as as much as I've missed you. Really? Tell you what, baby. I've missed you even more. <laughs> hmm? Please get a room. I know, Mom. You know what, darling? Uh, you know. <laughs> You've been with this people way too long. Thank you, my friend. Why do you want to make me act like a monster? I beg of you. You can go to any other place you want for this, to in search of the supposed greener pasture. But obviously not in Agaba Kingdom. Mama, I am tired of hearing these strange stories. Those strange stories that comes out of your mouth. I am tired of hearing them. Unlike you, I will go to Agaba Kingdom. I will make the money and I will come back and spend it with you. Hello? Yes. I tried to stop him, but he, he, he couldn't listen to me. Anyway, I just called to tell you that I've washed my hands off him. You can do away with him if you like. Sunday. That Sunday you're going to push me to the wall. That day. That day has for 
kadhalika So tell me, how long has it been? Huh? Three, four, five years? Actually, four years, two months, one week and two days. Oh no, how romantic. <laughs> you remember? Well, I can only be romantic for my man and that is you. Oh, uh, look at you. Hmm? Come here, kiss me. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, darling. Looking at you right now, I remember vividly how you and I got engaged. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm also looking at that finger and I can't find my ring on it. Ah, uh, four years. Four years it calls so many calories, but that ring doesn't fit my finger anymore. Well, I'm looking at you right now. It doesn't seem to me like you put on weight. Well, where's my ring? What can I say? Honey, you've been abroad for so long. You're used to all those skinny girls. <laughs> You're just talking from your own perspective. Yes, I'm sorry, please. You can't see through her, can you? But ever since you stepped your foot into this compound, I know how selfish, lying, wicked you could be. What nonsense are you talking about? Um, Natasha? Please, show some respect, alright? That's my wife to be. You have no rights whatsoever to speak to her in that man. <laughs> yeah? And she's got the right to whip an old blind woman. Yeah. With their walking stick. Damn! You're heartless. What? Listen carefully, Zara. This royal privilege that is making you all puffy is a tradition I grew up with, and no bitch has handled it better than me. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look who is jealous. Zara. Please tell me the truth. Did you truly? Flung a blind old woman. Baby, it was just a little. How about telling the truth for once in your life? Just a little? Huh? You say just a little? How could you? That's weakness. That's outrageous. Why would you do something like that? Baby. Don't touch me! What is wrong with you? When I tell you how awful she's been, you use more complicated words, let alone now. She's been given some royal privileges to boost her stupid ego. I will not stand here and watch the children of one of the most dangerous men I know judge me. Excuse me. Elvis! Did you hear her? Listen, I know you're just a surgeon, not a psychiatrist, but isn't that little voice in your head telling you that this girl is a total mess? Well, yeah, she's a mess, right? But she's a beautiful mess, look at her. You know what? Call me when you're back to your senses, because I can tell you're not. Okaramo, what do I owe this visit? Very surprised visit. What do I owe you to? Iwezugo. May you live long. 
There was a time you worshipped me like one of the gods. You celebrated my arrival. I celebrate you today. You visited my shrine on daily basis. But today I visit you. No more respect. Okaramo, it's just as simple as ABC. No matter what, the DBL must not lose that which makes him a DBL. No! As you go know, I have not lost that which made me the greatest DBL of our time. But whatever happened, it was your fault. I have not said you have lost that which makes you a Dibia. Rather, I'm simply emphasizing on respect. Respect as one. Hey, Zugo. You should know that one of the reasons why the people respect me so much as one of the greatest Dibia of our time is because of my ability to see the present and the future. For now, your son is back, and days are counting. Or do I say, oh no, Wagazia is counting? Oh, Karamo, I do not understand. If you've come to my palace to gloat, or to deliver a message. <laughs> Call it whatever you like, but he is counting. I guess it is counting. Oh, now. What does Okaramo want from me? Is it that he wants me to prostrate before him? Or has he just forgotten that I am king? Oh no. Ever so beautiful, my gorgeous one. You look as stunning as always. I know, baby. <laughs> and flowers I requested for. Zara? Baby, I'm, I'm just standing. Did you just slap my maidens right in front of me? Well, if there's no one sane enough in the palace to teach this... this thing's manners, I would gladly do it. Manners? Manners on how to roll out the carpet and then spray flowers on it so that you can walk on it. Now why don't you go ahead and request that someone chews and swallows your food when you get hungry or better still, get Agoba here to borrow you his nose when you need to breathe. Will that be manners for you? Thank you, my prince. You're very stupid. Elvis, where do you get this kind of people from? And, and don't blame me if your mother is not cautious enough to teach this things how to treat a queen. I am not that lousy too. Did you just insinuate? My mother. The queen of Agaba Kingdom. 
is a lousy woman. Well, can someone agree with me on that? All right, everyone, that's the height of it. This date is officially cancelled. Agaba! Get out of this place. Get up! <laughs> to waste that old man. Can you imagine? She was practically telling someone to do away with me. Guy, I had it. I had to come back. I no waste time. I knock her straight. I knock her. I no waste any time. I'm telling you. Wow. You know, as evil and creepy as this sounds, Don Gordon is going to like you. <laughs> yeah. You know, your type is so good for this business. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what was it then? <laughs> you know, I, I need to make one or two calls. Uh, meanwhile, I have a date with a very beautiful woman. <laughs> yeah. So um, I will drop you there and come back for you later. Yes, sir. No shaking. Yeah. No, oh, no, 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 no. I should be the one thanking you. I had lots of fun. And to top it up, you brought me into a palace. Pleasure is all mine. Oh, um, shit. You carelessly forgot it at the hotel. Oh my god. I didn't even notice. You know, it's quite expensive. I know how much it's worth. <laughs> you know, so many girls will have sold this wristwatch. You have a kind heart. Can we do this again? Maybe. Maybe? Let's leave things the way they are. I had a nice time. Alright, see you soon, beautiful. Bye. Goodbye. What is the street number? And how much do you think we can get from them tonight? Yes, I have enough bullets. No way, sir. No way. That is totally unacceptable, alright? No! Sorry. You're sorry? I, I've been apologizing. I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'm sorry I came out wrong. You know I have a thing with oh, temper. Please, stop it. Right? That's not an excuse. You're a grown woman. Put it in check. You don't come out looking all beautiful and nice and then at the slightest opportunity you 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 you, you become mean to people. But what are Shut you? up, I'm talking! Alright? A permanent bad impression is rather a very good one that suddenly fades away at the slightest opportunity. So am I going to apologize and argue the whole day before you forgive, forgive me and accept my apologies? Hmm. How typical of you. Tell me Zara, when would you ever take full responsibility for your actions without having to turn the table around? When? Okay. 
I am sorry, Prince Elvis Ezugo, for insinuating your mother is less it cautious. It doesn't end there. You'd have to promise me that you'd begin to treat those maidens like human beings. All right? I promise I'll try not to. Is that okay? Um, we'll see, right? Can, can, can you just... Can you, can you stop? Honey, I've been apologizing since. Mm -hmm. You know I love you. Zara, can you stop? We're in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Money. Dos. Oh, dash, dash, dash. Money. Four million naira. Four million naira. The exact amount that I was giving to that my winch of a mother, that my desperate mother, for us to leave the land. This land of milk and honey. Look at it. Just my first hit. My first hit. I got that exact amount. <laughs> well, I'm glad you've seen and witnessed it yourself. So what are you going to do with yours? Does the gas question do? Does. You see that your car? That's your exact car. I'm going to buy it. I'll buy that exact car, the same color, everything. Even the inside, everything will be the same. Then the other money, eh? I'll go to the boutique. I'll change my wardrobe. Buy new clothes, buy jackets, dress like you. <laughs> so the girls will be dripping. So I can't. <laughs> You guys will be tripping. And you, what would you do with your mom? Because you're not lacking anything. You have everything. Everything you need, you have it. Well, I'm just going to spoil the princess a little. You mean the princess of this land? Of course. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, my father used to be friends with the Igwe. And that was why they were able to send my stepsister abroad. That means... Your father must be a very prominent man in this society. Who is your father? What is his name? I might know him. I know Wagazi. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I mean, everyone in this society knows that Ono Wagazi has only one daughter. And that's what I think. But the truth is this. My father met my mother in a brutal where she was doing her prostitution. Ashe. Ashawo. My mother. Ashawo. Uh, but he came back for us, so. He came back for us. But he refused to introduce us to people. I guess he was ashamed of us. And that was why my mother collected the money she collected from whomsoever she collected the money from for us to leave the land. Listen, Obinna, if this story you have just told me is true, that means you are the right heir to the truth. <laughs> I'm serious. Hey, <laughs> <I> Joshua. <laughs> uh, Josh, I don't think you heard me right. I said I am the son of a no, not the son of the Igwe. Listen to me, Obinna. By the time I have told you what I want to tell you, you will know who you truly are and figure out who paid your mom. Yes. That's nice. He praised himself. I'll be back. Praise himself. Ah, oh, Josh. Wow. Oh, boy, like play like the long term prince under two weeks. Let me come off it, man. Come off it. See, let me tell you, taking this kingship matter too serious. 
too, too serious, man. But it's true. Your coronation is just five months away, you know. <sighs> Josh, I'm not going to waste 15 years of my life ruining some bunch of uncivilized people when I should be somewhere in the Bahamas spending my dough with big asses. God, I have my own plans. My own big plans with robbery and blackmail. I am going to milk that throne so dry that the next king will see the throne as a body to sit on. Trust me. Good news. Good news. Fantastic. Don Gordon will be so glad to know that we have an insider in the palace. We are going to make good cash. That family is super rich. We just hit Central Bank. And now by this time, I hit the Praise it, Jesus. Why not? Praise yourself. Why not? My lord, what are we doing here? This looks like a home of a native doctor. Shh. Stop it. Right? She's no such thing. Come on. Please just calm down, all right? Just please calm down, okay? I'm not coming here to hurt you, just calm down, please. My lord.
20 million naira. Excuse me? 20 million naira for you to give up the throne and denounce kingship before coronation day. Now, I don't care if you intend to hurt the entire family. I just want you to give up the throne. Deal. Deal? Yeah, deal. Just like that. I don't understand. I mean, you came all the way for you to give it up for just 20 million naira. You know one thing about women? Your brains can be so forward. I hope to get my check soon. Aguba. What girl? Wild girl with magical powers, what does that mean? Thank you. Elvis! 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 Look, my goodness! What happened? Alright, I, I need to know more. That's exactly what I'm saying. I need to know more. Just get me that information, alright? Good. What happened? The girl from the bush, Tasha. Yes. There is something about that girl that just some special kind of power that I really can't begin to explain right now. I, I don't understand what you're trying to say. I can't get it. Meanwhile, you need to come downstairs. Someone on YouTube just came in. Let's go. All right, yeah, after you. Your father's thirst for power made him pay off the mother of the original head to the throne for her to abscond with her child so that his bloodline forever be on the throne. What? You did that? His thirst for power has destroyed other people's lives. Father, is this true? Oh, yeah. This, this is true. Father, now I see the reason behind your persistence. Look, it's all coming back to me now, Father. How could you? What, you think that I, your son, would join the League of Usurpers in this, in this family? Oh no, come on, Father, you should know me by now. Because I'm really not interested in the crown, you can keep it. How disappointing. Unless I forget, now that the true heir to the throne has emerged, is it possible that I freely do away with an idiot called Sarah? You're an idiot. What? You are an idiot. You're stupid. Bastard. Me? How dare you call my old child a bastard? Did you hear that? Just shut up. How dare you call my child I said a bastard? shut up. Oh. Coming from you? You are doing great. Let me tell you something, boy. 
every irrational behavior, decision, and action I made or took in the past I took because of you. And if you think you are going to put me to shame or bring disrepute to my family, I'll tell you something, boy. You have a big surprise coming your way. How do you justify your actions, father? Ah, yes, your son. Very simple. Yeah. Get out! Out, I said! Where is the way? This way, my princess. They're being from. Are you sure she's not home? I killed her dog and hid it somewhere. She has been in search of it since morning. Okay, then let's go. Who, who are you jittering? Ever since Voodoo was used to wipe my grandparents off the surface of this earth. I've grown allergic to anyone who practices it. Don't tell me you believe that trash. We need to get this thing over with. Come, let's go. Get out of here. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. My heels. My shoes. <laughs> I don't want to come back. If you come back now, come on, come on, try to take for me, please. Easy. I expect you to show some respect by greeting me appropriately. I, I wouldn't know what kind of work bringing you had. All the same, man, I have a business proposition for you. Considering the fact that your uncut son swore to kill me, I wonder what kind of business you want to discuss with me. I'll go straight to I want you to relinquish the throne. 50 million. <laughs> Come on, little boy, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Be realistic. I tell you what, nobody will believe you if you told them that you're the heir to the throne. Then watch me do it. 
my king. Fifteen years is not too long a time for people to forget. Besides, I am hoping on my loving father's queen to help me push my queen to the job. So you move. So how oh, man is doing business? How? Oh. I think they are expecting oh. You sure human being lives here? Yeah, this is where she stays. Oh. Oh. I saw. So what are we supposed to do now, my princess? What are you supposed to do? Burn this place down. Agupa, let's go.
Josh, what are you doing in my house? I thought you should be somewhere busy with some robbery by now. Hey man, easy. You're sounding a bit harsh. I don't think so. Do you? <clears throat> well, um, I came for us to discuss about the whole robbery idea in the palace. When are you going to give us the arrangement to the entrance? You don't tell me what to do and when to do it. When I need your services, I'll definitely contact you. But now, I'd rather have more important things to take care of. So, you can see yourself out.
Agola. My prince. Agamati, you know this. I know her. What did you do to her? I'm sorry, my prince. <laughs> it was the princess. She ordered me <laughs> to kill her dog and set her, her house on fire. I'm sorry, my prince. <laughs> and you did. Oh, Agora. I have never been so disappointed. That's what, Agora. You shall stay away from me and the palace. From now here on, you will find your way never to return to the palace. Have I made myself clear? I'm sorry, my prince. I have my car keys. Fast! How? Sorry, my voice. Hello, Tasha. Where are you? I need your help. I'm going to pick you up right now. I don't even think about my room. All right, um, fine, she'll stay with me in my room. Okay, but the problem right now is how do we smuggle her in without being caught? Hmm, I think I have an idea. Let's go. You know, the worst part of all this is that I helped this boy make his first million. And now, he wants us to answer to him. <laughs> I don't expect anything less from a man that shot a pregnant woman in the stomach on his first hit. Nothing less. Well, you guys know what to do. Nobody undermines loyalty and does brotherhood. Nobody. Don't worry. I'm already drawing out the plans. Which plans? Josh, which plans? Now, free me. Make I cut this guy long sleeve or short sleeve. I, I think God beg you. Will they give them boats? Long and short. Boats. 
Mani maroni aga. I ni moku no fi. I dey mo fi him. Hi. Hi, excuse me. Hi, beautiful. How are you? How are you doing? Can you help us start your business? Oh, come on. Don't be harsh on me. I'm only trying to be a gentleman. Um, how about um, I take you to wherever you're going to and I'll wait for you and bring you back. You mean you take me anywhere I want? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. In fact, all bees are on me. Let's go, come on. Okay. Come on, let's go. You're safe now. Be okay. Obi Daddy, Obi Naya, real son of his father, the best of the best. The most legible. <laughs> ah, since you came back to this kingdom, I feel like the luckiest man on earth. I can't wait to see you become the king because I'm most certain that you will rule this kingdom. Old man, do I look like your daughter Zara that you can manipulate anyhow? I don't understand. Just, just cut the pretense. Just cut the pretense. When I become king, when I take over the skin, there's one thing you must know. One thing you must know. Whether you're my father or not, nothing will change. Nothing is going to change. Okay? You will still remain the way you are. No more, no less. So you better wake up from your slumber. Because you don't know me. You wouldn't want to know me. Trust me. You wouldn't want to. So, uh, looking at your attire, you walk. Where do you walk? So you stay in this kingdom. I don't know the people that grace this uniform. Oh, pardon my ignorance, my dear. I do not actually live in this kingdom. I came in three days ago. Oh, thank God. Why do you say so? I was actually scared being open to you. I was thinking you're from this kingdom. Ah, well, I'm not. So, can you comfortably give me some juicy gist about you? Well, I'm a maiden in a palace. Wow. That's a great job. At least you get to see the best part of everything. Well, on the contrary, I've seen worse things happen in this palace. Believe me, a book is not as enjoyable as it looks on the outside. 
So tell me, what are these things going on with the palace that is so bad? Please, please, nobody stop me! Don't dare speak to me again in that manner! Children of nowadays, you don't even have a single respect for your parents anymore! Oh, now you know I'm your daughter. Before your almighty son came, you had my back. You supported each and every action I took. But now you don't give a damn. Because you feel your son is better at beating me at this game. But Papa, let me make something clearer to you. I must know how it feels to be queen. And when I do, I don't want to see your face on my coronation. Has everybody eaten the seed of madness in this house? How come everybody is running amok at the same time? There was no more to us. Always. Father? You've been engaged to be married to Zara for four years now, isn't it? Don't you think it would be romantic and respectful to her as a baby? You know, for you to throw her an engagement party. Oh, Father, please, just knock it off, please. Really, why are we talking about this now? I mean, the last time I checked, she wasn't even wearing the side rings. So why are we talking about this? Elvis, why have you chosen to be a punishment? Oh, because you have equally chosen to run my life, Dad. You want to be the one to decide where I am at a given time. You want to be the one to decide what I become. You want to be the one to now help me decide on who to marry. Come on, Father. Please, with all due respect, let me think it's just a handsome. Let me be, let me live my life just for once. Can you do that for me, Dad? You see that girl? You see that girl? Well, that will be a talk for another day. Now leave my presence. Leave my presence! As a wish, Father. Okay.
rush. What in God's name is that business that could not wait? What is wrong with you? Do you know I could kill you? I could destroy you just like this. Josh, I murdered my own mother with my bare hands. And she died horribly. Begging. Calling my name. Obina. Obina, please. Obina, forgive me. Pity me. A pity she never got. So, it will take even a dumb person not to testify that I can kill. I can kill. But just anything. So the next time you think of checking me, I want you to always remember that. And don't you? Don't you ever think of calling my phone? Except to call you. <laughs> Cause I can kill just for calling me. Close your eyes. What? Just close them. Okay. You promise you're not going to open it. Tasha, I pro... Close it. I promise. Close them. Alright, good. Okay. This better be good. You know if you open it, you'll spoil the surprise, right? Okay. Keep them closed. Okay. Ta-da! What? I know, she's gorgeous. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, darling. She speaks. Hello, Josh. Why are you calling me? I told you I'll call you once I need you. Hey, listen. I just called you for business, which is worth millions of naira. When can we meet to discuss? Because this is not a phone discussion. Okay. I'll call you back in a bit, okay? I'll call you to let you know when. Okay then. And the fish is dancing towards the bait. Nana point on kill now. You should consume it, but it's not going to do it to me. Like a language. But it's not here or not. Confirm. Low class people. You always want to look for a way to clinch with a high class. Boys come. Let them come. 
If they want war, I'll give them war. The walls are closing in on me. I have to act very fast. This whole thing is getting uglier than I expected. I might have to bring my son into this. You should have done this a long time ago. If you had threatened the king about the child at first, by now, you'd have been sitting on your ass and spending his cash for a living. But I was naive at the time, Chantel. I had to put dignity before success. But when I look at that, doesn't pay at all. I'm just going to focus on success. To hell with dignity! Hello? Thank you. What is it? I just got a ticket to kill two birds with one stone. Why is it so impossible for you to talk to your son these days? Why don't you talk to him yourself? Hmm? Is he not your man? Or have you suddenly lost your power as a woman? Ezogo, don't insult me! Elvis, who? Who's this? And where do you think you're going to? I'm actually answering about to you, but well, if you must know, this um, very beautiful and well-cultured woman is the same girl that you and Agoba connived to go burn down her heart. You know, sometimes when I think of you, I'm constantly wondering, what are you made of? What kind of a human being are you? Just me. I don't have words for you. Because I'm done with you. After you are done. Are you going to sit there and watch him talk to me like that? I thought you were. Is that all? High kicks. What do you think you're trying to pull off? What makes you think you can take my money and not abide by the contract? You were supposed to stay away from that throne. But I constantly keep hearing about your nuisance around town. When I realize who I am in this kingdom, To be honest with you, I was never interested in a kingship. All I wanted was my own share of the money. And so, off I go. But I started thinking otherwise. When everyone was making a fuss about a kingship, If not for anything, I would like to see that sport brat, that sport brat Elvis, to bow before as his king and for you. I don't have your time. You see, my bank manager will see you tomorrow. And handle your funds. If you were smart, you would run as fast as you feet. 
can carry. It's my venom has no teeth. Oh. I hate snakes. I squash them. Squash them. Not the famines. They are. Igwe, you summoned me. I hope there's nothing wrong. Everything. Agazie, everything is wrong. Because your two children are about to tear my entire family and this kingdom apart. How? You're asking me how? You paid off Obina's mother without my consent. Now Obina is back. You also promised you her son was going to get married to my daughter. But I don't see that happening soon. So who is to blame in this? Ezuko, please, 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 with due respect. Your cross is your cross, and mine is mine. All you have to do is to bear it in a way it will not weigh you down. Period. Agazi, you called me by my name. Has your name changed? Has your name changed? When a deity becomes important, worshippers turn their back. Agazi, called me by my name. No. Things are falling apart. Elvis, who was that girl I just saw you? Um, mother, that, um, Anyway, that's um, that's the girl from from Edo Forest. But that girl doesn't look like anyone who used to live in any forest. That's because she's been staying with us for the past three weeks. What? Three weeks? You two can actually hide someone in this house for a year, and nobody will get to know about it. So, what do you intend to do with her? 